It's the case at the center of the popular Netflix documentary, Take Care of Maya. A Venice family is suing Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba leading us off tonight with what happened in court just hours ago as the civil trial gets underway. Attorneys for the Kowalski family and Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital wrapped up opening statements here at the Sarasota County Courthouse for a case that's expected to take about two months. At the center of the case is a now 17 year old Maya Kowalski, visibly emotional at different points as lawyers talked about the events leading up to her mother's death by suicide. Her father, Jack, is suing the hospital for how he says his family was treated after seeking emergency care for Maya back in 2016. Kowalski blames the hospital for his wife's subsequent suicide after their allegations of child abuse. Maya's actually told in the hospital that her mom did. Johns Hopkins believes it's still in her head and there's a text that goes around about how Maya is now better off because her mom's dead. Tonight, the family asking for $220 million in damages. The lawsuit claims hospital staff accused Maya's mother of Munchausen syndrome by proxy and over medicating the then 10 year old girl who was getting treatment for chronic regional pain syndrome. She was put into a room and left for 42 hours with the commode just out of reach because the hospital wanted to prove that she could actually get up and walk. Maya was separated from her parents for nearly 90 days with no contact. Later in 2017, Maya's mom, Beata Kowalski, took her own life. You'll hear that Dr. Smith was not an employee of all children's hospitals. She was not part of the treatment team, but she was there as a resource. And you'll see over time, and we'll talk about this again in a minute, the investigation that she conducted in connection with her duties with DCF and the child protection team. Over the years, attorneys have compiled scores of witnesses and gathered more than 3,000 pieces of evidence. In Venice, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay. And Adori will be back in the courtroom when this case resumes tomorrow morning.